Okay, so we actually have quite an upsetting story. Let's just get right into it. It says cops hunting armed and dangerous dad of four who killed wife in Massachusetts bedroom before kids ran to neighbors for help. This story is very upsetting. A Massachusetts mom was found dead inside her home and police have launched a manhunt for her armed and dangerous husband after their four young children alerted a neighbor to the gruesome crime. Officers from multiple agencies are searching for Aaron Pennington, 33 years old, in connection to the death of his spouse, Brianne Pennington, 30 years old, in the city of Gardner, Massachusetts, state police said. Brianne Pennington was found by police in an upstairs bedroom with an apparent gunshot wound to her face. The discovery was made after the couple's four children went to a neighbor's house to ask for help. Along with the victim, three shell casings were found in the bedroom, but no weapon. Police found his white 2013 BMW at a Boy Scout camp in Gardner, but Pennington, the man, was not in the vehicle. The husband so far has been charged with possession of a firearm without a license to carry. Investigators said the couple was facing marital issues for quite some time. Brianne Pennington planned to move to Texas with her kids to get away from her husband. She was known to have a gun in the home for her protection, while also noting Aaron Pennington deals with mental issues and had threatened suicide. Well, let's continue. The four kids are in the custody of DCFS. Um, so that's one of the things you have a lot of people who would say like oh in these kind of instances when you have like domestic violence or whatever the case may be they'll be like oh you see if you had a gun if you had a gun well she did she did have a gun the gun was in her house but here's the thing when you have a gun in the house um if you are married or whatever in a relationship whatever you always tell the other person that there's a gun in the house just in case and especially you have a kid you have kids who are ages two five seven and nine okay so all right so i'm sure she took she got the gun i'm assuming anyways these are all assumptions on my part but i'm assuming she had the gun before there was any issues okay of course she's going to use it for safety purposes why else would you get a gun but i'm assuming it was probably before the issues arise to where they are now she was like, i'm gonna get a gun Da-ra, here's the gun Da-ra. And then he goes and grabs the gun and uses it all right um this is also one of the reasons why we need more control of these things okay uh they also mentioned in here they have marital issues she said that she pretty much was going to pack up the kids and move to texas um to get away from him now they don't mention was there abuse did he beat her you know was what was going on was there anything physical in there or was it just like okay i got a disagreement with you i don't really like you anymore you know whatever the case may be and then this is what ended up happening um also they said that he had mental issues and had threatened suicide no now what i am curious about that is what do you mean by mental issues now said okay he threatened suicide yeah but what kind of mental issues are we talking about was it just you are depressed and then i was like well if i can't have you no one will or was it something like you know maybe some kind of bipolar was it some kind of schizophrenia was it or was it just i mean was it some kind of ptsd was it something i mean what when you i feel like mental issues just so broad that could mean really anything was it just like okay i'm gonna harm you when the situation arise then boom i had no intentions on killing you and now i did or whatever the case may be um it may seem like okay well does it even really matter we're looking for the dude um and that's also another thing the police officers have been unable to find him to locate the man they put everyone like on a um you know like a what are those things called when they're like uh, pretty much stay in your house um because there's a man on the loose and we don't know what he has you know and all that kind of stuff but this kind of stuff is very upsetting um i know people were wondering and they were saying like you know hopefully there's like an aunt or somebody else and all that yeah hopefully but even if there are family members that could take a kid or two um I mean, four kids is a lot of kids, you know what I mean? So you may have people that would probably be like, eh, if I got to take one, you probably want me to take them all and I probably won't be able to do that. So they may end up being in the custody of, you know, 
DCFS, the state, um, they may end up being in foster care unless there is a willing family member that is saying, okay, I'm, I'm really, I'm ready to take the responsibility and let me have them. But we don't really know all the facts yet. And like I said, they're still looking for the guy. Um, but let me know what you all think about said story. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below. I would also appreciate it if you could go on ebay.com, simply type in Latrice Limited, click on shops, and then you can support me right over there. I have a wide variety of items over there. I have many of my own personal Latrice Limited items, which has candles, bath bombs, soaps, essential oil blends, lingerie robes. I have a whole bunch of stuff. I even have comic books on there, men's ties, action figures, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Definitely support me on there. Like I said, do not forget to like and subscribe and thank you.